Hi guys, my name is Philip, uh, and in this short video, I'll be showing you how to do a submix or a bus in Ardor. That's a DAW that works on Linux. It's open source, you can check it out. And I'm doing this as an assignment for my uh, lesson number three um, in the introduction to music production on Coursera.org. So without further ado, uh, let me show you how it's done. Uh, so for this project, I've already uh, imported all of the tracks um, that were recorded for my band. And you can see on the left side here are the names uh, for the drum recordings. And uh, I'll be using them and um, I'll show you how to make a submix with the tracks for a drum. So, uh, you go in here onto the uh, empty uh, space where all the tracks are and do a right click and then add a audio bus. And we can call it drum bus. Um, let's make it stereo. Uh, we don't add it to a group, and I think that all of that is fine. And now it added a empty track that doesn't have any input selected, so it's basically disconnected. So what we need to do is we need to reroute all the tracks from the drums that we recorded in here, or imported in here, into the drum bus. So I'm just quickly going to move this up here to my drums so it looks nice and clean. So we go up here into the window section and then into tracks and buses. And we select the outputs. And now we need to select all the outputs and reroute them to the drum bus. So let's go to the hi-hat, output, and let's see. Okay, to the Ardor buses. Okay, output my track, hi-hat to the bus called drum. And we connect the left channel and the right channel since we made a stereo bus. And we do the same thing for, for all other um, for all other tracks. Um, So basically what we're doing is rerouting the sound that's coming, that's supposed to be uh, coming out of the track into normally into the master. We're rerouting it to go through something called the drum bus or the drum submix. So let's do this real quick. And, of course, the last one. So, uh, if we go to the mix channel right now and go to this drum bus we have created here, let's see it here, and uh, press solo on it, it should solo all the drum tracks. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And if we press play, it's supposed to play drums, and that's what it does. So, yeah, if we don't solo that anymore, it goes and plays everything else that's inside. But the purpose of this submix is that you can do the levels over here that I've already mixed and put them together in one channel that we can, with which we can control the whole drum mix and increase the volume. So thank you for watching.